My pick for the minor premiership, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, South Sydney till I die, let's go. Why in the world are the Rabbitohs the minor premiers this year? Let's go through the contenders. So the Chookies, Crichton, Watson out, not a lot of depth. Uh, the Panthers, you lose Coruscant, you lose Kickout, they won't be in the top four. Mm. You got the Storm, Pappenhausen gone, not a lot of depth. They may struggle through Origin as well. Go through to the Eels, you lose a lot of forwards there. Again, the depth isn't quite there. And then you go to the Sharks and, yeah, I mean, they couldn't get it done last year and I don't see them improving to that level. Like, I just think that it's a bit of an open race and South Sydney have a great roster. They've got a rising Latrell Mitchell. They've got Lockie Ilias, who was a liability at the start of last year and really kicked on down the stretch. Even Isaac Thompson comes in, try scoring machine. Like, Souths will be very potent, and Souths don't lose to bad teams. First of all, the complete and utter disrespect that you have just given the back-to-back -back premiers, Penrith, by saying they won't make the top four, is completely out of order. But for the Bunnies, I just don't see it clicking again. Like, I like Lachlan Ilias. I like Cody Walker. I think Latrell's been rising for a few years now. And you say, oh, we got the rising Latrell Mitchell. He's... Been on that kind of wavelength for the last few years, but can go missing in games when he doesn't want to run the ball, and we've seen it. You know, he loves to beat up on teams when they're up by 12, and he scores a really cool try. I, I, I get that. But for me, the Bunnies, they didn't sign anyone, so they, they're obviously looking to go with team solidarity. They lost a couple of players, like a couple of depth pieces, Mark Nichols, you know, guys like that. So... I don't know what South's recruitment team were doing. I feel like they could have added maybe a new piece somewhere, maybe a decent front rower or, you know, some backup front rower or, and leaving it all to Totola. Are you saying that their forward pack isn't good enough? I'd say they have one of the best back rowers in the comp. Yeah, okay. I would say their front rowers are lacking a little bit. I don't know about that. I mean, it's not the best front row in the game, but you've got to throw Cam Murray into the equation. Oh, yeah. Because he's your lock, right? So he's, he's kind of front rowing. Cam, Cam Murray's a top 10 player in the game, and that's of all positions. Um, obviously, you know, Jai Arrow and Kaloma Tangi, they're going to do work. But if we go to Tola, Burgess, Davy Mowale, he's kicking on. He had a great World Cup. He's kicking on. Hame sele has got a lot of talent. I, I just think they've got guys who can do jobs in the middle, and they're going to have Damian Cook, who's one of the best hookers in the game, feeding those guys as well. Yeah, look, not everyone needs to be a superstar. I, I get that to make it work, but I, I just think that Cook, you just mentioned him. He's regressing a little bit, L little by little each year. So I thought his, what was it, 2021 20, season wasn't as good as the year before. I don't think his season last year was as good as the year before. I, he lost out to Appy Corusau for that nine jersey for the Blues as well, and uh, that kind of could be weighing on his mind. It could be a, a good motivation for him to you know bounce back and be like, yeah. you know, I'm the number nine for the for yeah. the Blues. But he's getting a little older now. Cody Walker just signed up for probably the rest of his career, uh, which is great for the Rabbitohs fans, but sometimes can get uh, a little too aggro during games and let it get the better of him. And that that kind of thing has cost the Rabbitohs in, in the I'm last couple of years. I'm going to cut you off here. I reckon you're a Bunnies hater. You're a Bunnies hater. I think you're a Bunnies hater. Well, like, this, this team is great. This team is great. Like, yeah, look, Cody Walker, not the perfect player, but he's almost the perfect six. And, all right, did you watch the Charity Shield game the other day? Uh, no, I didn't, actually. So I did, and they looked clean and crispy. Against South the City. Dragons. Against the Dragons, who are a respectable team. <laughs> look, the, the Dragons are dodgy, but South Sydney look great, and they always look great. And, like, last year, they were missing a lot of guys. You know, Damien Cook, you're absolutely right. He wasn't his best self for the first half of last year. Mm -hmm. Tell you what, fantasy and super coach down the stretch. He turned it on. So he was motivated... Let's go with Latrell as well. Latrell missed like half of last season. He came back. He dominated. Latrell took it to another level. That was on the back of an injury. Through that, that took him out for months, right? He comes in this season fully fresh. I just think Souths are so dangerous. Even Kaloa Matangi in the World Cup, he was kicking to set up tries. Like They are such an explosive, expansive roster. I'm not necessarily picking Souths to win the comp. I'm picking them for the minor premiership. Yeah. So it's a regular season award. You don't lose Cook for Origin anymore. You don't lose Cody Walker. You lose Latrell. But who else are you losing? You're losing Cam Murray and not really Kalal Matangi. 
Maybe, maybe Arrow. Like, yeah, look, I think Kalama Tony makes the squad, 100%. Because hmm. he, he's one of those guys who keeps taking that little leap every year and, and getting better, which is what I like to see. I, I'm not completely out of the thinking that the Rabbitohs aren't a good team. Because the Rabbitohs have shown very good consistency over the last, I would say, five, six years. They've made a bunch of prelim finals, made it to the grand final, just couldn't beat Penrith. But in saying that, they're that team that can't get over the hump. But they and made that grand final, though. They made that grand final. Did they win it? They were a different team. Like They were missing players in that game. Then last year, they had an injury-affected season. They come back this year. There's no reason to believe they won't make a leap again. But there's no reason to think that they won't get injuries as well. Yeah, look, fair, fair. And there are some death challenges. Um, especially, especially thinking the outside backs. They're going to they're gonna struggle a little bit for, for depth there. Like, AJ goes down, Alex Johnson. Who's stepping up for you? It's a tough one. I mean, that wing spot isn't the hardest thing for yeah. Seattle to fill. Well, they shifted think. Jackson Polo on. <laughs> yeah, Jackson Polo, right. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's a good move to let him yeah. go. Look, overall, I've got the minor premiers... I've got Souths. I don't think they'll go to the grand final, but I've got them as the minor premiers. Hmm. Where have you got them finishing? I think they're in the top four. For me, they're fourth. Okay. Um, see, I'm not entirely negative. You're a hater. On, You're a hater. On, on the rabbit You're hater. But Comment, comment if you think Miles. I, is a I've hater. just never seen a team win games via niggle like before, it, and it's it's to me it's it's not in the spirit of the game. Yep. Everyone talk, likes to talk about that. Roosters game that they had last year and I think if James Tedesco wasn't dodgily taken out of the game then the Rabbitohs don't win that game South Sydney have the grit to win the tough games oh they, they rattled the Roosters and, and, they got and the, the Roosters let it get, get to them oh, yeah. shame on the Roosters for doing that but that's but... why South are the perfect foil to Penrith so Penrith's no. attack will be much worse this year no kick out no Coruscant They're, Penrith are going to have to play tough footy and South Sydney can go with them on that South Sydney can go with them South Sydney are more potent in attack they can rattle Chooks. Look, the Chooks are a great roster. But Souths can beat anyone. Souths destroy Parramatta whenever they play them. Like They're not a threat to Souths, and I'm a Parra fan. So like, I've seen South destroy our, yeah. our right edge defense. How many wins in a row is it now? Oh, it's too many, man. Like, yeah, the South, Souths are great. It's a great roster. Minor premiers for me. Anyway, look, that's our South Sydney preview. You know, we strongly disagree on Souths. So can you hear what you think in the comments? A South Sydney, a minor premier? Or are they maybe a team that finishes, you know, fifth to eighth and flops out? Let us know what you think and uh, like and subscribe.